Kelly from Cards by Christine here with you on a Technique Thursday to share with you a really fun technique. Um, it's just watercolor pencils. Um, I, I don't know if you'd call it necessarily too much of a technique technique, but oopsies. Um, using watercolor pencils. Watercolor pencils are a great way to color. Um, I am not an artist by any means, but they really make me feel artistic and I think they create a really nice soft color. Um, obviously with blends, they're like markers, um, and then we have markers, and then there's all sorts of other coloring techniques too, but I just, I really have started using the watercolor pencils more often, um, and I really do enjoy using them. So we're gonna make this card using dragonfly garden um these wildflower um prairie grass type flowers and the sentiment comes from there as well so i colored most of the flowers already i'm just gonna go through and do the last of them there are two different sets of watercolors um this isn't an old box but they're the same colors so in one set, we've got Real Red Calypso Coral, Pumpkin Pie, Daffodil Delight, Old Olive, Bermuda Bay, Pacific Point, Rich Razzleberry, Melon Mambo, Early Espresso, Basic Gray, Basic Black, and Basic White. Then in the second assortment, we've got Cherry Cobbler, Flirty Flamingo, Cajun Craze, Crushed Curry, Granny Apple Green, Garden Green, Coastal Cabana, Balmy Blue, Night of Navy, and Gorgeous Grape. So I picked out an assortment of colors from both of them. Um, and I'm just going to color in and you're gonna watch me. <laughs> so I am also, as part of this video, going to show you the difference between our newest incoming in color, which is Soft Succulent. Um, so my inspiration card here is soft succulent and then I'm going to be making this card on just jade and then it's also kind of close to mint macron so I'll show you that as well so just a little bonus um, that you'll be getting and I guess the reason that I was inspired to color this card using watercolor pencils I mean these prairie grasses are really beautifully variated in colors but also I wanted to bring in some white on these awesome I think they're cone flowers I am not a gardener by any means so I could be wrong on that but um, I think these are called cone flowers so I wanted to um, bring in that white and white is a color that you cannot achieve with blends um, you could use some of our pigment white if you wanted um, with a blender pen. I don't know if that would work, um, but I think I've done that a long, long, long time ago. Um, so that's potentially an option. Um, but yeah, I wanted to have that white in here to help pop with the colors of the flowers. So that was really what drove me to use these watercolor pencils compared to blends. Um, so, so far I've used the Whisper White or Basic White um, and also the Flirty Flamingo and the Daffodil Delight. Now I'm going to bring a little bit more color into the cone flowers by just drawing in a couple little lines of Melon Mambo here. And then those flowers, I grabbed my Garden Green for the leaves and the stems. So let's get those colored in. I really love this stamp here with the um, prairie grasses. So beautiful, um, so delicate. You know, I think oftentimes when we look at these weed type flowers, you can, so easily overlook their beauty, but they really do add a lot of beauty and color and texture to our um, roadsides. <laughs> okay, so then that takes care of the cone flowers. Next, we're going to grab our rich razzleberry. 
I have no clue what these are and I have no clue if they are a purpley color, but I did want to just pull in some bright fun colors as well. I mean, full disclosure, green is my least favorite color. Um, but obviously when we're dealing with nature, we get a lot of green in our lives. So um, I wanted to add some rich vibrant colors so I grabbed the rich razzleberry and on that one here I see I missed a leaf so I'm going to pull back some garden green now I'm going to grab the old olive um just pull a little bit of old olive into the stem and there are a couple leaves in here with that as well oh and I see I missed a couple flower heads too Some of this will not so much matter because I am doing the middle section, which has um, the sentiment is going to be going over some of this, but I'm still going to go ahead and color it in. I should have sharpened my pencils before this video, but I didn't think of it. So, um, however, these are going to look really nice. Um, I'm not trying to color super <laughs> in the lines. Um, I don't know. No, I want it to stay looking like kind of whimsical and, and airy and not too structured. Um, and then last but not least, I'm grabbing my Coastal Cabana. Gonna bring some of the bluey tones in on this flower of sorts. Color those in. Now, watercolor pencils are made to be used with water. So if I were to spritz this, these beautiful pigments would run um, obviously on something like this, that is not the look we're going for. So I'm not going to be doing that. Um, I did a technique video quite a few weeks, months ago, um, using the watercolor pencils in a water type of card. Um, so if you search watercolor pencils on the Facebook page, you'll find that in the video archives. Um, really cool way to use watercolor pencils it makes a really awesome look. However, I just wanted the water, um, excuse me, the colored pencil feel for this coloring. Um, so you can definitely use watercolor pencils just as colored pencils. Um, and that's what I did for you here. So I'm gonna cover up a bunch of what I just colored, but here's our finished product when it comes to how it's colored um, and I did so another reason why I wanted to use these watercolor pencils was because I chose my neutral base layer to be this crumb cake um, I thought it was really nice um, nice neutral color um, but not white or vanilla you know I had some had some um, tone to it so I thought that would be nice and then we just kind of set it off by using those watercolor pencils. Um, just put a couple pearls on it then I'm going to bring in my dimensionals. I'm <laughs> dimensionalizing a pretty big heavier piece. Now it's got two pieces stuck together so I'm going to be loading the back of this guy with dimensionals. Um, and then I'll show you the difference between this new beautiful color. Um, so like I said, on this card here, we've got Soft Succulent. It's a new 2021 to 2023 in color. Such a nice family of colors that's starting um, soon with the new catalog. I love them. Um, the card that I'm creating and assembling right now is our 2020 to 2022 in color just jade um just a little bit more pigmented 
So we've got soft succulent. Let's see if I can get it. I think that's a pretty true color. Um, and here we've got just jade. So soft succulent, just jade. Now I'm gonna bring in, this is um, the color mint macaron from the, I think it's in the soft family. Um, so very nice greens that we have even though green admittedly is my least favorite color, um, we have a good variety of greens to work with. Um, and we need a lot of greens for our um, plant colors and stuff like that. So what do you think of this card? Do you love it? I really do. I think it turned out really nice. Um, I think I like it better on Just Jade. I wanted to use Soft Succulent. I don't think it looks bad. It, it reminds me of the succulents, um, all the different colors that you can find in succulents. Um, but I do think with the coloring, I like it better in the Just Jade. Um, but yeah, just another fun thank you card um, using the Dragonfly Garden, even though we didn't use a single dragonfly. <laughs> so... Yeah, have you ever used watercolor pencils? Um, I rarely do. The uh, The only times I have used them, I've borrowed them from Chris, but I have used them a couple of times now that I've started to really like using them. So I am going to go ahead and buy them myself so I don't need to borrow them all the time. Um, and I can use them on a couple different techniques that I've seen. So uh, they're fun. I do like them. Um, I always used to like coloring with colored pencils when I was a kid. Um, I liked the control and the consistency compared to crayons. So yeah, I was that, I was that kid. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, let us know if you've ever used watercolor pencils before. Um, and if you have, show off some of the things you've used them on. We'd love to see how you, you have used them. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful Technique Thursday and we will catch you tonight. Um, when Chris comes at you live. So have a great day.